fragrances I will never recommend. So this list, it's kind of a list mix between men and women's fragrances, but these are the fragrances that I just don't think are really worth wearing in 2024, this day and age. Uh, I'm gonna start with one that I just don't think smells good, just in general. Now, it could just be my nose, but some people seem to agree with me. Marc Jacobs' Decadence. I do not like this because every time I smell it, it just smells like, like vinegar to me. Like, it's meant to be a gourmand, a sweet, spicy type of fragrance. But something about that mixture of the sweet and spicy just ends up turning into like, oh, this smells like pickle juice to me. Uh, you know, so it's it's not ideal. I would not want to wear this to dinner or going out or anywhere, really. Now, uh, some people do agree with me. They also smell the pickle juice note. Other people do not smell that note. Other people just say it smells like a typical gourmand with the sweet notes. But, uh, you know, do you want to risk it? Do you want to risk smelling like pickles to other people? So I, I just do not recommend this. I don't think it's that great. Plus, it's like really, really strong. It is almost too strong for anyone to enjoyably wear. Uh, so uh, you know, another reason I do not recommend wearing this. Unless you're just one of those people who don't smell the pickle note, but even then, you know, there, there are other options. If you want to go for a gourmand, there are other better options than Marc Jacobs' Decadence. Now, another one. Going in here with a men's fragrance, Invictus. This isn't too bad, but it's not really great either. Invictus, it's more one of those modern men's fragrances. It, you know, was really trying to compete with, like, Versace Eros and... Uh, you know, the, the more mainstream men's clones. This is all right, but it's very sweet for a men's clone. It has some interesting notes in it. You know, it, it tries to be kind of uh, marine, a little bit warm, a little bit cold, that sort of thing. But then it has this sweetness that kind of comes out of nowhere. And it just doesn't fit, really. Like... Some fragrances for men, they do have that sweet note, and it, they do it really well. I feel like the sweetness in here is almost feminine, um, and, you know, even kind of like a bubblegum note. Some people are into that, but in general, I feel like this type of fragrance doesn't really need that type of sweetness. Um, but again, if you're into that sweetness, this is actually all right. But, uh, you know, there, again, there are better alternatives for this type of fragrance. You could either go for something that's more of a pure, fresh marine fragrance, or something that's more of a sweet fragrance. You know, that sort of thing. But, uh, you know, this is also... It doesn't have great longevity. Like, I always see people saying, oh, this has great longevity, it's gonna last a long time. I personally find that it doesn't seem to last that long. Like, you get maybe two or three hours of strong smell and then after that it really just drops off um, becomes more of an intimate fragrance so I just don't think this is really worth it for again not great longevity it's kind of expensive it doesn't smell all that great unless you really like you know kind of sweet men's fragrances but yeah I feel like there are, are, are just better alternatives to this uh, particular fragrance then I do have to mention this one just because it's kind of the scapegoat, just a little bit. Versace Eros. Now I personally do not dislike Versace Eros, but it has kind of a reputation. It's a little bit outdated. Um, this is this has always been known as the party fragrance, the clubbing fragrance for men, and uh, it's very strong because of that. It actually has really good longevity. The longest lasting note is the Madagascar Vanilla, which I think is actually a very attractive note. It's that warm, kind of heavy vanilla bean, which is nice. Again, I, I like that. But the rest of the fragrance um, is kind of overbearing, a little just too, too much, especially if you're not going clubbing. If you're going clubbing, then that's a different story because you have to, you know, fill up the entire uh, room with the, with the fragrance. But um, this is nice as a winter fragrance, just because of that warm vanilla note, but the main thing is it's a little bit outdated. Um, 
pretty oversaturated. Pretty much everyone has, has tried this or smelled this or worn this at some point. So it's very mainstream, there's nothing too unique about it. Um, and unless you really, really like vanilla, then it's not really worth it. Um, again, unless you just want to occasionally wear it, maybe for winter, you know, that sort of thing. But um, not a horrible fragrance, it just kind of dug itself into a hole. So there's that one. Then, anyone who knows, <laughs> whenever I, I do these kind of diss videos, this always shows up. My arch nemesis, La Vie Belle. Now, I, I, finally enough, if I'm going to compare Gourmand fragrances, if I'm going to compare Marc Jacob, uh, Jacob's Decadence to this, I would actually prefer to wear this, even though I really dislike it, just because this, again, has the vinegar smell. This at least smells like candy and dessert. I just don't like how it smells. The thing about this, it has the same problem of being oversaturated, um, very mainstream, not very unique. It doesn't smell horrible, it's just very, very sweet. Um, if you do like sweet fragrances, then you probably would like this, but it has the praline notes, vanilla, caramel, uh, some very ripe fruit notes. It's very strong, kind of in the same vein as Marc Jacobs' Decadence. It's so strong you really have to scrub it off of your skin um, to get rid of it. But uh, it's just, again, it has that oversaturated qualm about it. Um, and I feel it's not very versatile. I feel like it doesn't... It's a very playful type of fragrance. So you're kind of limited as to where you can wear this. You know, I wouldn't recommend that wearing this to work or to dinner or, you know, to, to a lot of places, actually, to a restaurant. Um, so it's kind of... I feel like it's kind of limited because it's so kind of bubbly and playful. Um, but, you know... Some people really do enjoy this. It's not horrible. I just do not like it <laughs> very much. Uh, but, you know, to each their own. And the last one that I have, mainly because of the longevity, is Eau de Cartier. Uh, this is actually... It smells nice. It uh, has some violet notes in it. It kind of smells like uh, a scented wet wipe. Uh, it, it just has that clean smell to it, it's a little bit powdery, it has the distant floral notes, but the longevity is absolutely horrible on this. Um, every time I put it on, I'm like, oh, this smells nice, this is a kind of, you know, kind of a very natural smelling, very clean, and then it disappears. It disappears in about 30 minutes, maybe an hour, if it really stretches out. If this was stronger and had better longevity, it would be a nice fragrance to wear. Um, but it's just because the notes in here, all the notes are very, very lightweight. Um, you know, with like the violet, the florals, the green notes that it has. They're all so light that there's nothing to ground this to give it better longevity. So as soon as you put it on, it's just going to start floating away. Um, and also, it, this is a pretty expensive fragrance being from Cartier. So I would not recommend this mainly because of that very poor longevity. But I don't know if there are other versions of this that might be stronger because this is the Eau de Toilette, Eau de Toilette, you know, with the lesser perfume concentration. But uh, if there's a stronger version, that would probably be worth the the cost. But uh, for this, very poor longevity, not really that worth it, even though it does smell pretty good. Um, but that is my list of fragrances I would never recommend uh, for both men and women here. Uh, hopefully you uh, enjoyed this video, and if you did, of course, you can leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.